We're back out at Australian Wildlife Conservancy property Mount Zero Tara Vale, monitoring running river rainbow fish that we've reintroduced. Uh, it's April 2021. It's been a good year. They've had reasonable rainfall up here. The country's looking good. The creeks are all flowing well. Lots of water in the water holes. Um, we're really lucky to be able to get out here. This is some really remote country that's tough to get into. And so we've, we, we get out to a few spots on the creek where we're able to monitor the rainbow fish. So there's two main creeks, Puzzle Creek and Deception. Um, both creeks have got loads of fish in them. Um, most places we go, you just stir up the water a little bit and as soon as you, as soon as you know it, you've got 20 or 30 rainbow fish swimming around you or more. Um, there's a good mix of age classes. They, they're clearly doing well. Um, the only real question we still don't quite know about the success of the reintroduction is how well we've captured the genetic diversity. So that's one part where each year we come out, we collect some samples, um, freeze them in liquid nitrogen for genetic analysis, but we haven't had a chance to run most of that genetic analysis. Um, but hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to do some more work on that side of things and be able to say, yes, we've captured the genetic diversity, or no, we haven't. Do we need to do more translocations, consider other things that might, might help them out? Um, we're really lucky that we've got these remote creeks that have nice waterfalls on them, um, nice meaning large enough ones to keep other rainbow fish out. And that's really the key to conserving this thing. And the fact that they're kind of in a remote area and a protected property uh, is really, um, the chances of finding that anywhere in the country is really amazing. So we're just running river rainbow fish is really lucky uh, that it was situated here with the property. Um, We've also been back out. We usually pop out to Running River just to monitor the, the wild population. Um, it's a pretty dire, sad story, unfortunately. There's obviously thousands of rainbow fish in the river, but they're pretty much just a hybrid swarm now. Um, you've got part of the problem is, of course, you've got upstream is full of uh, eastern rainbow fish, and they keep washing down uh, on a regular basis, further diluting the gene pool of Running River rainbow fish. But based on Two or three years ago, we, uh, we genotyped a bunch of the fish from the river and nearly all of them were hybrids or back crosses to Splendida. Um, I think we did still find a couple wild fish at the lowermost site. And on this trip, we caught some that look, you know, relatively similar to, to running river rainbow fish. But I suspect by now that pretty much all of them are, have got some hybridization associated with them. So the, the wild population is pretty much more or less extinct at this point in time. But, uh, but they should live on in Puzzle and Deception Creeks for, for quite a while. They, it looks like uh, the species are saved, the wild population's lost, but, um, but at least we've got something for future generations to enjoy. So we've still got the crowdfunding stuff running, so if anybody feels like donating, there's still, still good work that needs to be done. But at this point, the populations look like they've done fairly well. So it's, I'd, I'd say at this point, it's fairly successful um, with that only caveat about the genetic diversity.